Hello, and welcome back to Fist Entertainment. Um, as you can see, I have no case in my hand. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, I did mention this before um, on my second official review I did on this channel back in 2017 for Fret Night Part 2. Or do I, I think it was actually 2018 when I started reviewing movies. Yeah, I think it was 2018 when I started reviewing movies, so 2018. Um, Alright, well, the um, movie I'm talking about, obviously, is Fright Night Part 2, 1988. I did mention back then um, that you could, at, um, if, if it got taken down, watch the um, Blu-ray version of the movie this, um, via people uploading the movie to YouTube. Now I got removed. Well, it's back on YouTube, so I... Um, I took it upon myself to watch it, um, and the reason why is I did I did my research on the um, the foreign Blu-ray, which is from um, Spain, I believe, um, which is an all-region Blu-ray um, of Fright Night Part Two. Um, if you guys want to know my thoughts on the plot of and even trivia and stuff like that of uh, Friday Part 2 from 1988, then check it out on my channel. It's all there. Um, we're going to be talking about the proper version of Friday Night Part 2 from 1988. Um, as I saw on YouTube. We're just talk about the specifications of the foreign Blu-ray that this, this is taken from. It's available in Spanish and English. But you have to be able to figure out how the menus work because the menus are actually in Spanish, not not English. So you can't actually reread it. But once you set it up, you can watch it in, in, in this English version. Um, <clears throat> the film is remastered into a um, 2K scan. Um, very, very good picture quality. Um, Friday, Friday Night Part 2, like the original Fright Night movie from 1985, was shot and filmed in 2.35.1 and on Blu-ray converted to a 2.4.1 or 2.40.1 want to call it that which is very similar to um, the way that that my filter on the camera is right now with the um, bars on the top and Top and bottom, um, which I kind of like to do for nostalgic reasons. All right, um, the audio is actually a two-channel um, stereo surround source. So when I read that about the um, Blu-ray, it knew and knew that you know it's always available somewhere on YouTube to watch. It's just a streaming movie. Um, I thought, well, there's no real reason to, you know, spend a handsome amount like $65 on one movie to buy it from another country when there's not really going to be any difference between watching it on YouTube to watching it on Blu-ray for another country. So I just watched it on YouTube. But um, it's definitely a massive, massive, massive improvement over the out of print DVD that I have of Fright Night Part 2, which is a complete piece of shit, garbage, fucking print of the movie. If you want, want my thoughts on that in, in vaster detail, just watch the review I did on the movie. I think I said, I think I said something like, um, it's almost like somebody fucking pissed on or spilt Kool-Aid on the freaking film and released it onto disc. Um, I don't know, it's been so long since I reviewed the movie, but, um, this is very clean. This is the cleanest and the best that this movie's ever looked. Um, I only really wish, though, that, um, there was an official USA release of the movie, but after doing research, I have figured out why. I have figured out why there has not been one. I forget the name of the company... Get the name of the company, but um, it's the same actual film company behind Total Recall, H 
um, Highlander in um, Stargate in um, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. That group owns the rights to Fright Night Part 2. But they, they refused to sell the rights. I think I think it companies like um, Corel or some stuff like that. But um, they still own the rights and they refuse to sell the rights to somebody else. The distributing rights of to release the movie. Um, but they had never released a Blu-ray of, of this movie at all. And in fact, that um, foreign Blu-ray, that was actually made by somebody like me who knows how to remaster a film. That did it is a freaking project in his house and released it to the world. And it was made in mass quantities in another country. That's how that's that's how that exists. But there's been no official Blu-ray release of the of, of the movie. And it's a shame because what this college student or kid did to this movie, Fright Night Part Two, is brilliant. I mean, it's it's crystal clear. It's like it's like the way I look right now. Only of course more film film like looking, obviously with Korean elements and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's brilliant. And then maybe some day we'll finally get a Blu-ray. Maybe some day Scream Factory or Arrow can finally convince these gre greedy fucking bastards to sell the freaking rights to this movie so we can get a official Blu-ray release of this movie. That would be very, very nice. Very nice. But um, if you guys want to watch Front, right, Friday Night Part 2 from 1988 the right way, just um, put in Fright Night Part 2, or just put in Fright Night and just look around at what videos are um, on there until you go ahead and see Fright Night Part 2 Blu-ray Rip. Now, there's actually two movies with name Fright Night Part 2. I'm not talking about 2013's, 2014's Fright Night Part 2. I'm talking about 1988's Fright Night Part 2. But it's, it's on YouTube, and it is very, very brilliant to watch. So if you want to watch the film the right way, um, go on to YouTube, and you can, you can actually do that. The, there's actually is surround effects, surprisingly enough. Um, with it being a YouTube video, there actually is overhead sound effects and stuff out uh, the, uh, the two channel audio source. So it's, it's definitely um, a good watch. But it's a shame that we don't have an official Blu-ray release. And this is just going to bug me and I got a little bit of time. I'm going to try to see what company this is. Ah, there it is. Um, and in fact, I'm actually going to plead right here. I, don't, I doubt they'll actually, um, they'll actually hear me, but you never know. Studio Canal. Yeah, Studio Canal. Could you please either release Fortnite Part 2 in a Blu-ray or stop being greedy selfish fucking bastards and sell the streaming rights to a company that will. This comes from not just me, but countless millions of fans. Thank you. But uh, that's um, pretty much all there is to say about the high definition, correct um, Correct theatrical ratio of the film with it being a 240 by 1 instead of 133 by 1 full frame. And having a decent picture, the best picture we've seen in the movie. Um, that's my thoughts on the better version of Fret Night Part 2 in 1988. I hope that um, 
you liked it, and I will definitely say it was a pleasure watching this movie theatrically, because I did watch it theatrically, so that, that, that was definitely a pleasure. It was definitely um, a big pleasure for me, personally, to return to all three of these wonderful vampire films, Fright Night 2011 and 3D. That was really wonderful. Um, 85's Fright Night in Blu-ray and it, the um, remastered version of Fright Night Part 2. On YouTube, it was definitely um, a pleasure watching these films theatrically. And um, I will see you guys next time for whatever I review next. Which I don't know what it's going to be yet. But it will be good. Until then, um, stay safe. As he knows, I have not been talking about things controversial about the world. I'm trying not to. But I will say this. It seems that um, the whole U Universal Studios in um, EMC Theaters controversy is starting to die down and they are negotiating for um, ways to benefit everybody. Let's hope that plays out because I can say, like the rest of you, I am tired of movies being postponed over a virus named after a shitty fucking beard. And well, that's all I have to say about that. Um, stay safe. Eventually this all this will be over and we can get back to our normal lives. And I'm very happy that you tuned in to enjoy me talking about movies today. And I will see you guys next time. Until then.